Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly channeled message. You're my last reading for the week. Um, I always get excited when I do the Aquarius energy and you guys always have beautiful energy. So let's find out Aquarius what the message that's going to come through for you is today. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time where you felt guided to this channel by spirit. This is also not tar tarot. This is intuitive channel messages. So it's not tarot. It's not new age. It's all just... um channeled messages so whatever comes through me as a channel i read the cards with the symbols clairaudiently um clairvoyantly or what else claircognently there's all different clairs but i use all the clairs to channel your message okay so let's get started and see what message comes through for you today aquarius now not every single message will be for you not all messages will resonate so if a message doesn't resonate just Take what does and leave the rest behind. Otherwise, the message may not be for you. Okay. So we're in the energy of the rhinoceros, Aquarius. So I feel like you are overthinking a situation right now. And you're pacing back and forth. And this might not be you. This could be the other person. I'll just see what comes through a little bit more. But there might be someone you're connected to, if this isn't Aquarius energy, who is thinking about you. So uh, air energy is all about being in the mind space in your head. So someone might be in their head over you can be reversed, but we'll see what happens, right? You might be dealing with someone who is thinking about you a lot, can't get you off their mind. So we'll find out why. Okay, so seems like this is the other person's energy. So you've got someone Aquarius who is thinking about you. They're pacing back and forth. They've got you on their mind and it's because you're a very pure person. Um, this is very Aquarian energy, you know. Um, Aquarius is all about purity, light, healing, so I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is thinking about you and like a rhinoceros, they're pacing back and forth. They're, you know, they're pacing their room, they're contemplating and they're overthinking and they can't get you off their mind so much to the point where they're, they're having to moderate their thoughts. They're thinking about you uncontrollably and they're thinking about how pure you are, how sweet you are, how kind you are, how innocent you are. So I feel like this is someone who is either missing you or has made a mistake with you and they're pacing back and forth and thinking about your purity your essence you know they're just thinking about you and i think they're thinking about you so much that you know, it's to the point of obsession almost so they're overthinking whatever happened between the two of you guys so somebody that um can't get you off their mind because you're a very pure person and i think they're ruminating over you and whatever happened between you and them right now so let's see what else this person is feeling and thinking about you change so i feel like you got a masculine energy here this isn't gender specific that's thinking about changing because you've made a huge impact on their life so i feel like aquarius you are very pure you have this beautiful angelic energy it's very healing the aquarius energy is very healing and i feel like you have connected with a rhinoceros who may not be so pure may not have treated you as well as you treated them and they are pacing back and forth right now because they want to change they want to change the dynamic between you and, you know, this is possibly a stubborn masculine energy and you've made such an impact on them that they're wanting to change. They're wanting to work out how they can change things between you. So I feel like it's somebody who's overthinking whatever mistakes they made with you and they're wanting to change. They're wanting to change the situation and they're wondering how they can change things between you guys. So let's see if there's another spirit animal that wants to come through to help us figure things out a little bit further.
<laughs> same, same, same energy. So I feel like this person wants peace with you. So the gorilla is somebody who um, is a very strong energy. And he is contemplating, thinking about you, pacing back and forth. You're really on somebody's mind, Aquarius. So I feel like this is someone who you have had a falling out with or a disagreement with. And they can't get you out of their head. So they're pacing back and forth right now, thinking about everything, reflecting on, on what happened. And I think they're realizing it's there in the wrong. They need to change because you embody this pure energy. And you're really on someone else's mind, Aquarius, right now. And I feel like they know that it's up to them to apologize. It's up to them to make this right. It's up to them to make peace with you. So I feel like with the gorilla's energy, the gorilla is a very strong animal, right? And this particular card represents a gorilla that does not want to hurt you anymore. So it's a very strong masculine energy that's coming through that can sometimes get aggressive, but he's turned his back on, he wants to, to make love, not war, is what I got. Uh, he wants peace with you. He doesn't want to put any more fuel onto this fire because I feel like whatever happened between you guys got quite heated. And he's pacing back and forth now and he's wanting to change because he wants to make up with you. He wants to make peace with you. And he's realizing how much of a pure person you are. And that is pretty much this person's fault. So he's wanting to change. So we're going to find out a little bit more from him what he's wanting to do. And we're going to go into this deck of cards. Because this is all about the other person. In most of the readings, it's been all about, you know, the, the Leos, the Sagittarius. This one is all about whoever you're dealing with. So you're, you're making a huge impact on somebody with your energy. So let's find out what he wants to change between you. Okay, so that wasn't the right one. Pleasure. Okay, so I feel like you've been dealing with somebody who had a connection with you that was very sexual. Um, I think this is a masculine energy who may have been somebody who had a sex addiction. And I feel like he's overthinking how he treated you because I feel like you guys spent some time together. And he came across as somebody who just wanted something casual. He just wanted a physical connection in the past. And I feel like he treated you like this was just a sexual connection, that it wasn't anything deeper. And I feel like you're a very pure person. So I feel like you came from a place of love. You, you came from a place of compassion. You never treated this person like they were just a one night stand or they were just sexual and I feel like this person was hiding their feelings and um, masking the fact that there's more to this than sex. And I feel like they want to change because I feel like they're feeling really bad about how they treated you and how they came across. And they don't want to perceive you to perceive them as someone who just used you for sex. I feel like this has been a huge burden weighing on this person's mind about how they treated you. So I feel like it's a masculine energy who's been hiding his feelings for quite a, a long period of time. And it's been really, really um, on his mind, really bothering him. He's been thinking, how can I make this right? You know, I, I came in and I slept with this person way too fast. I actually care about this person. It wasn't just sex. I treated them like it was, you know, just a one night stand. And I actually really care about this person. They're very kind. They're very pure. And I'm hearing that you're a kind soul, Aquarius. So I think you've been dealing with a wounded masculine who was hiding his feelings for you and portraying an image that he just wanted sex from you and that it wasn't anything deeper. And that's not the truth. It's been, burden it's been burdening him because he has feelings for you. 
And now he's kind of in his head so much to the point where he's like, how do I change her perception of me? How do I make her see that I made a mistake and it isn't just a fling? It isn't just sex. There's more here than that. I see how kind she is. I see how pure she is. And this is also the card of love. I think this person loves you, Aquarius. And it's like, how do I come back from that? I fully hid my feelings and I overcompensated so much to the point that I treated you like I didn't care. And it was just sex because I didn't want you to know that I'm actually in love with you. So you got a masculine who was denying his feelings, trying to hide the fact that he's in love with you. Maybe it was love at first sight and he fell in love with you super fast. And he was like really embarrassed that he fell in love with you so fast. But he pretended it was just sex. But I felt I feel like you guys connected on such a level where you fell in love really quickly. And then he was like, I can't tell her I love her. I have to pretend like I'm a masculine macho energy. And, you know, like it was just sex and I didn't catch feelings. And so this is a masculine energy who's realizing he caught feelings. He fell in love. And maybe this is someone that doesn't fall in love with people that easily. But you just have this beautiful energy here, Aquarius. And he caught the feels. So let's find out from Brian Froud's fairy deck. What else is masculine is feeling? <laughs> and then the Aquarius comes through. <laughs> All right. So this is your energy, Aquarius. We have the bright mother. So I feel like you embody this beautiful empress energy. And I feel like you're not very impressed with how this person has treated you because you feel like this person kind of snuck away. We have the felines energy, which is um, an energy of a very, very wounded masculine who is a bit cowardly. So I feel like you um, gave this person a lot of love. And you came from a very pure place. You felt the connection with this masculine energy. I'm also going to get your spirit animal. I just don't. I'm going to see what your spirit animal is. <laughs> okay. This is very Aquarius energy. So you're coming up as a snow leopard. And you've been watching this person. So as you've been watching them, Miss Snow Leopard, you have... Um, you're very gifted to Aquarius. You got your guides here and you're very rare and you're very intuitive and unique. I always get the snow leopard with Aquarius energy. So I feel like you've been watching this person and you're not impressed with their behavior. You feel like they snuck away, like they ran away, like they cowered away from you. And I feel like you've turned your back on the connection because you're not impressed with this cowardly energy. And because this masculine has been such a coward, and he's just been masking his feeling, acting like it was just sex. He's, he's really burdened by this. And he's like, how do I come back from being a coward? How do I come back from this? But I feel like you are aware this masculine has been, has been very damaged. This is a very wounded, malnourished Leo energy. It's somebody who is um, in their shadow side. So I feel like when the two of you guys met, he's had his heart broken. And he um, was scared to get his heart broken again. And then he fell in love with you really fast. And he was like, oh, no, I can't fall in love again. I don't want to get my heart broken. I better just play games and pretend like this was just sex. And he hit it and quit it pretty much. And then ran away, ran away from you, ran away from his feelings. And now he's like feeling really bad. Because I feel like this person can't get over you. They have feelings for you. And they can't stop thinking about you. And now they're like, how do I turn this situation around? I fell in love. And then he's like, how do I change the dynamic? Because over here, you're very unimpressed. So I'm going to leave that there, Aquarius. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo if you want to access the reading individually. Or you can join my Patreon page. For an entire month, I really appreciate your energy exchange. I hope that message resonates with some of Aquarius's. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. All the information is in the description box below. You can also donate to my PayPal account or 
gift me an, um, a, a deck of cards from my Amazon wish list. All that information is in the description box below. I really appreciate your energy exchange. See you next week. Otherwise, take care. Bye, Aquarius.